Hey there, everybody. As always, thanks for stopping by and hanging out for a few. My name is Rich. I'm the channel host. And normally we're talking about growing your small to medium sized drone business. So we talk about hardware, we talk about software, what's in the back end in the office and what goes out in the field with us and how we usually generally do our deliverables for our clients as well. Now, a couple of days ago, I popped up a video on WebODM and we're talking about WebODM again. Um, and I had a commenter who had a good question and then their comment disappeared from my YouTube channel. So sorry about that. Got misplaced somehow. Also, let me just move the uh, microphone over here a little bit more. So the question was pretty simple. The, um, the, the person on channel was wondering, you know, what comes out of WebODM? If I create a model with WebODM, what am I getting from it? So I wanted to take a look at one of our recent uh, data collection points, uh, July 28th, 2024, and I'm gonna click on the task. So this is the Web ODM interface. We're not doing a full tutorial on it or anything, but I'm answering this question. And if you do have further questions, you can always check uh, classes.azdrone.net. Um, that's where we have a lot of our classes up, including a Web ODM class as well. All right, so I am going to jump into this task here. And there we go. So. Um, this is the last task we did. It was 210 images, 41 minutes to process this. And we went on a standard processing with WebODM. So what did WebODM output for us? Well, we've got a great tool right here, Download Assets. So the assets that were generated are downloadable to us. As a matter of fact, we can download the entire uh, block here, but we can download an ortho photo, a surface model, point cloud, a textured model, uh, our camera parameters and shots, quality report, and you can just download all of the assets as well. So what does that look like? When I download on my Mac, let's go to downloads and we're gonna open this up here. And on my downloads, the latest items were all.zip and then a folder called all. This is all of the exports that came out of WebODM. Really straightforward, really simple here. We've got an uh, Entwine Point Cloud. We've got a digital elevation model, georeferencing, an ortho photo, um, our ODM report, and texturing. So the texturing is also a model. And what comes out of it, if we want to share with people, this is really interesting. So on the ODM textured, I went ahead and uh, rendered that one on Sketchfab. So here we are. Sketchfab is another application that I use for doing online presentations of 3D models to allow our clients to come in and check out the models when they want to. Now this is a texture. So as you can see, as we move around, yes, we do have the 3D um, 3D abilities in here. We can zoom this in, zoom this out. So this is one of the things that exports right out of web ODM that's usable and that we can put on something like Sketchfab. So really cool, really awesome. I do have to say, I'm not a big fan of the 3D models that come out of web ODM. So that's fair warning. Keep in mind, this is an open source platform. In other words, it's really cheap to free on the really cheap side under a hundred dollars. And if you are looking to learn about doing different types of modeling and flying your drones for doing modeling, this is a great platform to start on. So, whoops, somebody zoom that out. Let's zoom that back in and let's go ahead back over to uh, Web ODM. So we had that uh, we had that textured model, which is right here. We also have an ortho model. Let's uh, go ahead here and let's get to the ortho photo. And so we do have a GeoTIFF here so I can overlay this on Google Earth or other things, but this is one of the things we use regularly for our clients for doing before and afters to see the changes and progression on their sites. So we can easily deliver that to the clients. So that's great. What else do we have available for ourselves? Well, we had that texturing that we already saw. We've got the ortho photo. We could do the digital elevation model. One of the other things that a lot of people are wondering about, and there's not much to this one, um, you know, what are the outputs for doing a point cloud or a 3D model? Well, there is only one real export here. I'm going to go to the data. So we've got all these .laz uh, files. And what happens with those files? Where can we use them? Well, we use another open source application called QGIS. And I'm just pulling up QGIS. So 
This is a uh, geographical information system, so we can do a lot with these, including uh, bring in the points. So I'm just zooming this in here so we can actually bring in the, um, oh, it's spinning. Okay, there it is. It's caught up with me. But um, we can actually bring in the point cloud and then we can do work from there and do other exports as needed. So only one export when it comes to doing a point cloud. But, you know, once again, this is free, open source, and it still gives us a lot of tools to work with. So let's go ahead and take a look here again. And I'm just going to come back out. So additionally, they do have the ODM report. It's a PDF. And you can go through the full summary of the flight information. Um, and also we've got our previews for the ortho photo and the digital surface model and our coverage for the survey data as well and more. So you can check this out when, uh, when you create your own. So in the end, Web ODM does give us several types of exports and some of those exports we can actually use with our clients. Now, in addition to what we've just shown you, we can also pull up, excuse my hiccup here, we can actually pull up the ortho and I'm just going to set this to none. And so there is our ortho model. We can also do plant health. This isn't, we're not doing plant health here. And we can also do our surface model um, for the higher elevations and lower elevations on the site to give a feel, um, you know, for how this site is actually laying out. Now, if you are going to be using web ODM, I strongly suggest playing around with it. Okay. Go get some flights in and then process those flights here in web ODM and then see about the export formats that you do have available to you. And if those formats will be useful to clients, even though this is such a basic, um, open source program. This is very powerful. We've got a lot of great tools in here. And if we're just learning, um, these tools are going to be really great to practice on and, um, you know, pretty simple stuff. Now, when we're looking at this once again, as I said before, let me go back to the tasks one more time. Um, we do deliver the ortho photos, the surface model, um, textured model to our clients on a regular basis. And we use other applications beyond Web ODM, but Web ODM is good enough for those ortho mosaics for sure. Like I said, be a little suspicious on the 3D models. I'm going to click on that right there for you. So there is the uh, 3D model. This is not something that uh, we're sharing right from our desktop to our clients. That's why we use the um, Sketchfab instead. And we can also go to the textured model here, and that's going to clean things up a good bit. And so it's just loading the texture. All right, and now we can get in here looking a lot better. Still, you know, not the greatest output in my opinion. We also have the cameras in here too. So if you want to see where all the cameras were um, when they were taking these shots to build this model, here you go. So there's a lot more that you can play with in the 3D model side. There's a lot more you can play with with the orthos and surface models. So my big suggestion, of course, is go out, gather data, have some fun, and then publish something like this for yourself to see how everything is coming together. Hope that answers the commenter. And once again, really sorry for losing your comment. I don't know how I did that, but YouTube seems to do that on a regular basis. So if you don't hear back from me, send a comment again, because something probably happened. All right, everyone, we'll see you again in the near future. Have a great start to the week.